Bollitos de papa y elote, or potato and elote bites. I've been dreaming up this combination since I learned how to make bollitos. These are two iconic street foods that are being mashed up together into one delicious bite. Let's get to it. we're gonna start off by charring our corn. So I'm gonna use my torch today, but if you have a gas stove at home, you can use the flame of that instead. Now I'm gonna turn my corn to make sure that every single side is charred. And there you have it, you have charred corn. So now what we're gonna do is make sure that we cook our corn so it's nice and tender. Let's put this guy into our foil. We're gonna cover it up, bringing in one side here so that all of that steam, when it cooks, stays nice and locked in there. I'm gonna throw this in the oven so that it finishes cooking and I'll be right back. So I have taken my corn off the cob and I've let this completely cool. Now let's get to our filling. We're gonna take our mozzarella. We're gonna take our cotija cheese. We're gonna take some crema. And this is crema mexicana. A little bit of lime juice cilantro, tajín, salsa picante or hot sauce, pimienta or black pepper, butter that's been softened, and our charred corn. We're gonna give this guy a little mix. And make sure that the crema, the butter, and all of the wonderful spices are getting mixed together. Let's give this guy a little taste. Look at this spoon, that's crazy. Wow. That's really good. Our filling is done. Let's get to boiling our potatoes. Woo! Okay, I've peeled my potatoes. I'm gonna cut them and then I'm gonna put them in my boiling water. I'm gonna strain them and then we're gonna turn them into mashed potatoes. All right, let's put these guys into our bowl. First, we're gonna take our butter, our onion powder, our dried parsley, and we're gonna really crush this up so that it gets really fine like a powder. A Little bit of cayenne, salt, and hot sauce. Now we're gonna use our spatula to mash everything together. And now we're gonna smash. And we're looking for a really smooth texture. All right, this is what your potato mixture should look like. All right guys, so now we're going to fill our bollitos with our elote. So we're gonna take a scoop of this size. And then we're going to fill with a scoop of this size. So we're gonna grab a nice hearty scoop of our potato. We're gonna place this guy in our hand. And now we're gonna grab some of our filling. I'm gonna go in with the back of this scoop and you're gonna go in and you're gonna make your little mold here. Pat it down. And then what we're gonna do is gently fold it over so that that filling gets covered by all of your potato smash. So we're gonna roll it. it, doesn't have to be perfect at this stage, and then we're gonna put it on our cheek pan. So I'm gonna keep filling and rolling these guys, and then I'm gonna show you how to coat them so that we can get our bollitos in our fryer. So before we get to coating our bollitos, we're going to season our tapioca flour. So we're gonna take some paprika, we're gonna get a little bit of onion powder. Then we're gonna give this a little mix. So now we're gonna take a little bit of water and we're gonna add it to our egg. And we're gonna give this a little mix. This helps break apart the egg just a little bit so that it is a nice light coating of egg wash on our bollitos. So first we're gonna coat these guys in the egg wash. We're just gonna roll it in there. Make sure that it's nice and coated. Then we're gonna place it in our tapioca flour. And we're gonna roll it and return it back to our sheet tray. And this nice coating is just gonna be that delicate crunch that we need for our bollito. Before we get to frying them though, we must refrigerate them so that they harden back up. We wanna kinda of create a very delicate light shell. Uh, and while we're doing that, our oil will get up to temp. All right, so our oil is at 350 degrees and we're going to drop in our bollitos and let's keep loading them in, but I'd like to give it just a little bit of time to rest 
so that the temperature of the oil doesn't go down too hastily. We have fried arbollitos. The color on this is so beautiful. The smell is insane. We're gonna make our garnish, so we're gonna take a little bit of lime juice. We're gonna mix this with the crema. So now we have our crema. We're gonna grab our piping bag. And just pour this in here. We're gonna cut a little bit of our tip here. Not too wide. Now we're gonna grab our prettiest one. Put it right down the center here. Now we're going to put a nice little dollop on top. We're gonna grab a little bit of hot sauce. We're gonna grab a little bit of cotija. If you're really adventurous, a dash of cayenne and some tagine. I love this stuff. I eat it with my fruit. Now we're gonna take a little bit of cilantro and there you have it. You've decorated your burritos. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. This is exactly what I was dreaming of. This is like the perfect mashup of these two street foods. It's nice and tender and it's super light and fluffy. I could probably eat these all day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want me to combine more street foods together, let me know in the comments. Bye.